YouTube, hello friends and people in the virtual world, welcome back to Baggy CMD and welcome to another What's in the Box. Don't forget guys to hit subscribe and smash that like button if you're enjoying the channel. Looking at the analytics, 95% of the people who watch this channel are subscribed. Come on guys, let's get this channel up to 500 uh, subs. Right, today we are going to be having a look at a 148 scale North American F51D Mustang. Let's say 148 scale. Slightly different for me. We used to doing 172nd. Got a couple of 148s uh, to do at the moment. Obviously, it's an airbo air airbox. <laughs> Airfix. Uh, product number is A05136. Very nice piece of artwork here on the front of the box. We have three schemes. I messed up. I thought that was an RF scheme. It's not. We'll get to that in a minute. So what do we get? We get Bomb Squadron, South Korea. We've got Royal Australian Air Force. And we have Swedish Air Force. Let's open it up and take a look inside. Now, I didn't bring my knife up, but for the love of God, I can't remember where the hell I've put it. Somewhere on the complete and utter tip, that is the workbench. Let me find something to... Stab it with, yeah, if you can hear a dog crying, I do apologise, uh, there appeared to be, I think sort of everyone's woke up after the ball fest that was the England-Scotland match. <laughs> right, let's open up, I can tell I haven't actually seen lots in here, so we've got a big bag of sprue, we have some destructions and we have some decals, all I have to get the box out of the way, we'll come to the plastic in a minute, we'll put that to one side. Let's have a look at the instructions and the decals. Let's start with decals. Nice, big 148 scale decals. Lots of very intricate little decals there. Nicely in register. Nice, big, bold colours. They are going to be cartograph decals. They are. I can see the little sticker on the side of the box. So we know these are going to be pocket de decals. Soul set. Make it all go down nicely. They're good. Obviously, we have, because there's going to be a lot of stencil on this, so we've got a couple of call-outs for the uh, stencils here. Call-out for A and B. Uh, and then we've got C. Yeah. Bit of random stuff on the uh, table. So, yeah, the D, uh, decal sheet there for the uh, small decals. Uh, looking nice, like I say, quite nice glossy paper that Airfix appear to be going to. Right, in to the destructions. Nice, well, standard Hornby instructions, let's face it. Slightly matte paper, so we can read through. A little bit of information there on the aircraft. So, starting off with, obviously, standard things. We're starting with cockpit. Want all the cockpit together, lots of uh, little boxes and all that to go in the cockpit with the pilot, which is looking quite nice. Lots looks like there's gonna be a lot of uh, detail. There's a newer version of the airfix instructions. So we've got the little red call outs for the bits that we've just messed with, just makes it that little bit easier. So, yeah, cockpit all coming together here. Don't know what this section is, probably fans of some uh, radiators, not too sure. Options here, you just got to make sure you use the right parts here, guys. If you are going to have wheels up or wheels down, shows you how to put the landing gear in, how to have the door shut if you are going to have wheels up. Side panels here with some nice little details that you're going to stick on for the side of the pilot, some tubing, a section of the fuselage, other section of the fuselage just there. Then the cockpit sort of goes in with all the gubbins inside. So it's like a outer layer, then you put the inner layers in. Two halves go together with a bonnet section. And we've got the wings going on. We've got a couple of different options if you own drop tanks or uh, bombs on it. Uh, it's just ask you to see step 69, just to see what you're going to do with it. Wings go together. Guns are added to the front. And we've got the rear uh, elevators or ailerons. I can never remember what they are. But you can have uh, um, uh, flaps into them down or angled, which is quite nice. More little bits and bobs added there. 
Wing section going on onto the main fuselage. Looks like it's going to go nice and easily. A little filler piece in there. Exhaust sections. Start of the propeller section just going in there. And we've got various different bits and bobs just going on. Air scoop, air scoop there. Another little air scoop there. Uh, this is the rear of the radiator, I believe, so you can have it at different angles. <clears throat> Excuse me, depending on how you want it. Then we've got the rear elevators just going on here with the tail section. Here's uh, the um, wheel well doors shut if you're having wheels up version or down if you're having wheels down. Putting all the wheels together, plonking it all together quite nicely with the nose wheel, uh, or nose tail wheel variety of different armaments you can have on this aircraft so just make sure you check out which scheme you're going to do so you know what's going to go on there two different propeller designs the a and c and the b version canopy going on random dude's face um hair fix like doing this like i think it's the designers and all that in the office to get the faces put on the little people which is quite funky so you can have the canopy open or shut. That all gets plonked on with the propeller. Little aerial onto the back. And then we get onto the colour schemes. So we have two North... Um, sorry. We have an American Air Force version. We have the um, Australian Air Force version. And we have the Swedish Air Force version, the Svenka version. It's quite funky, isn't it? Uh, I'll probably go Australia, actually. Quite, It's quite a simple um, paint build, that's why, because we like simple here at Baggy's TMD. But, yeah, nice, clear, concise, standard F. It's instructions, really, guys. Let's get into the plastic. There's a lot of plastic in this. Like I say, I've never done... I've, I'm in the middle of doing the... Um, what am I in the middle of doing at the moment, guys? I'm in the middle of doing the 148 scale... At the 148, yeah, the 148 scale NAT at the moment, and that appears to be going quite nicely as I randomly hunt for my knife still. I still can't find. Where is my knife gone? Oh, well, I've got something to stab this bag so we can open up the bag. You'd think I'd be more prepared now, wouldn't you, with, like, two years down the line of doing these videos. Oh, we heck is like. Where is the fun in being organised? Let's rip that open. Oh, that's tough, quite tough plastic. There we go. Put your bat in. Oh, we've got canopy section, but canopy piece is already loose in there. So hopefully that isn't getting scratched. In fact, there's two bits of canopy that have come off, come off the spray. That's not very good, is it? Already. Hopefully they're not scratched. If they are, we'll have to try and buff them out, or see if we can get a new canopy out of Airfix. Let's pull out the plastic, guys. Let's have a look what we've got here. We have one two three four five sprues of plastic let's put them to the side and we'll start with the littlest so this has got some of the armaments on some of the bombs with the tails of the bombs there nice propeller very nice intricate detail on that propeller there guys liking that uh, no size of any flash on that first sprue there guys we have wheels we have some engine details two different uh, two different versions of the wheels here which is quite nice seat just there instrument panel but now the drop tanks there we have the landing gear which is very fine and intricate uh, there are the guns for the wings so yeah nice there's the exhaust two different sets of exhaust as well depending on what version you're going to do Nice again, nice intricate detail which you expect on a 148 scale. Airfix are really up in their game on the uh, detail at the moment, guys. So here we've got the uh, rear tail section uh, just here. We've got a part of the wing with some very minute uh, recessed rivet lines. Let me see if you can just see that there. I think you can. Let me get something to point at it for you. Whoops, a daisy. Just here we have some very, very fine recessed rivet lines. It's looking very nice there. Once again, no flash whatsoever. Uh, these are the insect, um, in insects, the inside sections of the cockpit there looking very sweet as well. Up next we have, uh, whoops, Daisy, smacking the old plastic there. 
We have the other propeller, which once again is looking very nice, intricate detailing. We have some parts of the landing gear doors just here, elevators, ailerons here. That's one of the little cover sections for when you're doing the uh, wings. Once again, very nice recessed panel lines. We've got some little rivets. We've got the little dudes. A little bit of flash there on the bloke, but no flash on the main the main components of the aircraft. No ejector pin marks looking like they're going to be in the way, which is nice. Uh, and then we have the cockpit and fuselage house with more drop tanks and bombs. Once again, the wings have got very fine recessed panel lines. There's a bit of ghosting on the plastic, but that's, that'll be fine once it's been painted over. The uh, two halves of the fuselage are looking very nice. We have very fine uh, recessed panel lines. We've got recessed rivets. We've got a few little raised rivets in there as well. No obvious signs of any uh, flash, which is nice to see. It's looking a nice kit, this is, guys. Quite looking forward to building this one. I'm having a bit of a change at the moment. Having a little bit of a foray into 148. So, what do I think of this kit, guys? Nice kit. I paid 25 quid for it. Was well, from a local model shop in Warsaw, not Warsaw, but Warsaw sort of direction. I say I'm trying to buy. If I see a model shop, a local model shop, try and buy something out of there. Even 25 quid, it's, it's nothing really, but it might just help that shop survive in these uncertain times. So, quite recommend this kit, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I'll see you later.